Alright guys, welcome back. My name is Logan from Shadow Vape and today we're going to be reviewing the Top Box Mini Starter Kit by Kanger Tech. Let's go in for some macro time. It is abstract. Uh, I am the Leviathan. Alright, so now we have the Top Box Mini. Right here, this is the box. We're gonna open it up, show you guys everything. This is what it comes with, and the caution label, the box itself, and the tank. Let's open it up, show you a little bit closer. So right here, we got your charger for your micro USB port. I'm gonna show you guys your atomizers. It comes with stainless steel and nickel. And then it comes with a Clapton, which is the one that I've been using in it. Your RBA cotton, your screwdriver with extra screws. Super useful, actually, especially when you're doing your uh, RBA building, if you do. Um, it's more for advanced people going in. But that's about it, Gath. Now we got your tank. We're going to unscrew everything, take it all apart, and then put it all together. So you guys can see how it's all done and how easy it is. Take that glass off real quick. Super easy. I just give it a little twist, pull it right off, and it puts right back on. Holds in nice. It's very it's much better opposed to the uh sub box tank or the sub tank. There's your atomizer, you just push it in, screw it right in. There's not really any screeching. The only kind of like kind of threading screeching that I get uh, is when I'm just screwing that part in right there. Uh, other than that, these threads right here kind of just smooth. I'm gonna show you guys your filling holes. Let's get that in focus real quick. Just each two sides. They're really big, but it doesn't have a juice control system, so there's nothing really blocking it from getting into the middle. Uh, which isn't that bad. Most tanks don't. Uh, but sometimes when you're screwing it in, you might get a little bit of liquid on the edges. But other than that, you're fine. Alright, so I just want to show you guys the airflow. How that works. We're just going to keep turning it. And it just gets smaller and smaller. Until you get all big. And this is basically just going to be all preference wise. Exactly how you're going to want it to be. Uh, It'll change for each person, but whatever hit you want, the more vapor production, the hotter or cooler you want it, that's what that's going to show. So this is your box. You got your button, your screen, your up and down arrows, your micro USB port for charging, your battery sled. It does have a spring-loaded connection with the positive down and the negative up. So I just want to show you guys the pin real quick it is spring loaded which is awesome because it allows you to be able to fit almost any atomizer or tank if you want to switch it out let's throw a battery in here real quick this is a 38 amp 2600 ma emerin all right so i just want to show you guys all the functions really quick right now we're in Celsius, we're going to do five times on. It is five times off, too. So we'll turn that right back on. All right, so now we're in nickel, or nichrome, excuse me. Now we're in wattage. So it's just you click it three times and it switches. So now nickel, now titanium, now stainless steel. Now we're in nichrome. Now go back to wattage. It does go up to 75. So we'll just go and fluctuate, show you guys how everything works. All right. So that right there is your indicator, basically telling you that there's nothing on there uh, where the 999 ohms is. So I'm going to show you guys how you change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. It just changes as soon as you go above the Fahrenheit, it'll switch to Celsius. Same thing, 600 and then 100. So you'll see at the bottom right of the LED screen how it changed. So let's just screw this on for you, see how it looks in the end. 
And this is going to be your little masterpiece. And we're going to go up for our final review. Alright guys, welcome back. It's time to give our final review. You don't need the welcome back. I'm sure you do. They just came back from watching Macro Time. It's kind. <laughs> Alright, so I've been using the Clapton Coil in this tank. And you can run it up to 70, but I found my sweet spot around 50. Just because I've liked the cooler vapor in this tank. Uh, but it's been a really great box so far. I love it. Uh, let's talk about some of the differences between this tank and the Subbox kit. Uh, first off, this is temperature controlled opposed to the Subbox kit, which was not. This also goes up to 70, whereas the Subbox kit only went up to 50 watts. Uh, they made a big, really good upgrade with the top fill in this tank, uh, opposed to the other one. It wasn't top fill. You had to fill it from the bottom, uh, which wasn't that bad at all, but um, top fill is definitely a much more of a preferred way to fill. Um, then we have your um, coils in this thing, where you're going to be using the SS OCC coils, which is the upgrade from the original OCC coils, where the Subbox kit, that's what those took. So uh, the differences between them is they're just a higher quality, better cotton, uh, they're uh, rounder opposed to the squared, so they'll fit these. Uh, I do believe the OCC coils do fit these, uh, but the ones that you're going to want to use and the preferred vape, the ones that are going to last longer, taste the best, are going to be the SS OCC coil. So overall, this thing has been treating me very, very well. It's an excellent, just really, really good starter kit for someone who's just beginning to vape or even like moderate to advanced vapors. Uh, I've been using it for a while and I felt perfectly fine using it. It's great overall. Anyone could use it. It's super easy to use. Uh, there's nothing really complicated or different about it. If I had to say one thing that's kind of just upsetting about it is that it didn't have some kind of juice control in it. Uh, nothing like rubber stopping it from uh, when you're filling it from top fill to getting it from not going into the center hole. Uh, other than that, it's not really any complaints. It's just when sometimes if you've missed uh, some drops of juice getting into the tank, uh, and you're trying to fill it when you screw the top back on sometimes you'll kind of have like a little bit of juice leakage And you'll kind of just have to clean that up real quick, but other than that it's great so I would definitely recommend this to just about anyone who's wanting something new something lighter something small to fit in and uh, That's about all I have to say today guys Alrighty little fellow vapors. Thanks so much for watching if you like the video and you want to see more sure hit that like button if you really want to show some love, hit that subscribe button. And remember, battery's not included.